everyone. So for today's video, we are here to show you around the Philippines' three provinces in Visayas. Eastern Visayas, Central Visayas, and Western Visayas are commonly known as the Visayas region. So what are you waiting for? Tara na! Australian-speaking immigrants who arrived in the Philippines during the Iron Age. Ati Atihan, a celebration in honor of the child Jesus. Ati Atihan translates as acting like atheists or pretending to be like the aboriginal inhabitants of previously inhabited Aklan. Antique. Jose de Vinovista is the provincial capital of Antique, the hub of commerce and trade the location of the provincial government and national government institution. The Karaya people are primarily found in the province of Antique. The Karaya are a Visayan ethnic group from the Philippine island of Panay and Palawan. Antique is also noted for its gold, marble, copper, and gemstone. The Vinirayan Festival is an event held in the Philippines province of Antique. The Vinirayan literally translates to where they say to. Capi, Rojas, especially the city of Rojas. Capi is not really known, meaning that Balma San Rojas. In Tagalog, Lomsod ng Rojas is the capital of the Philippine province of Capi. Capi is the province in the western Visayas area that is home to Rojas City commonly known as the Philippine Seafood Capital. Aside from a strong juicy food delicacies, Capi is a stunning cage that will satisfy your water lap. Capi holds an annual event from April 30 to 15. The festival is known as Capi Stan, a play on the words Capi and Capi Stan. Capi Stan also commemorates the foundation anniversary of Capi Civil Administration. Iloilo. Iloilo City is the provincial capital of Iloilo. It's centrally placed in the Philippine archipelago and acts as a gateway to Panay Island. Ilongos are people from Iloilo, Iligaynon, Kinaraya, and Capizno are the three local languages spoken in the province. Iloilo City is well known for its historic churches as well as its juicy or raw silk and pia or pineapple fiber fabrics. Rice, corn, ligamas, mango, bananas, and pineapples are the major agricultural crops. The Dinanyang celebration is a well-known religious and cultural festival in Iloilo City, held on the fourth Sunday of January. Negros Occidental Negros Occidental is a province located in western Visayas. Its capital is the city of Bacolod. The residents are known as Negrenses. The majority speak Ilongo or Hiligaynon. Negros Occidental is the country's leading producer of sugar and organic agricultural goods. The Panahan Sa Negros event, generally known as the Panahan Celebration, is an annual festival celebrated in Bacolod every April. Gimaras Gimaras is divided into 5 municipalities and 98 barangays, with Jordan serving as the capital. 
The people of the province, called Gimara as non, speak Hiligaynon and Kenaraya as the primary language as it was once a sub-province of Iluino. The island province is recognized for producing some of the world's tasteless mango, called as mango capital of the Philippines, from both local and foreign tourists. Mangahan Festival is Gimaras, trademark festival, held every year from May 11 to 24. Hi guys, I'm Jack and I will bring you to the second region of the Philippines, Central Visayas. Central Visayas is made up of four provinces, Cebu, Bohol, Negros Oriental, and City Hor. It is the Philippines' second smallest region, having a total land area of 14,923 square kilometers. So, let's start with Cebu City. Cebu is derived from the old Cebuano term, Cebu, which means trade and is a short version of Cinebuayang Hinti or a trading place. Cebuanos are the residents of Cebu, the Bajau, and the Aetas are two indigenous groups in Cebu that are well known. Cebu grows coconut, sugarcane, bananas, wood crops, and many more. But maize is the most common agricultural crop. And also, the, la the island is rich in mineral resources. Cebu's largest and most popular celebration is the Sinulog Festival. The feast honors the Holy Child, who is also known as the Santo Niño de Cebu. Bohol, Tagbilaran City is the capital of Bohol in the Central Visayas area, made up of Bohol Island and 75 smaller neighboring islands. The Boholano people, commonly known as Bolano, are residents of the island province of Bohol. They are part of the larger Visaya ethno-linguistic group and the majority of Boholanos are Roman Catholics. Bohol's handicraft such as mats, baskets, raffia, woven fabric, fashion accessories, woodcraft, crosses, cuisine, and pottery are well known across the country. San Dugu Festival is an annual historical event held in Tagbilaran City every year. This event celebrates the Treaty of Friends established by Datu Sikatuna, Abu Hol, Chief Payne, and the Spanish conquistador Miguel Lopez Ligaspi. Negros Oriental Dumaguete City is the capital of Negros Oriental. Dumaguete City is commonly known as the city of gentle people. Negros Oriental is making a difference in Cebu. The majority of residents in the coastal towns speak Cebuano. Rice, corn, fruits, vegetables, abaca, tobacco, copra are the most important agricultural products of Dumaguete. The Buglasan Festival Commonly called as the Festival of Festivals, is one of the Negro Oriental's most anticipated festivals in the middle of October. Sikihor Sikihor province is composed of six municipalities Sikihor, San Juan, Lazi, Maria, Enrique Villanueva, and Larena. The Sikihor known are the natives of Sikihor Island. Other major crops in Sikihor include rice, corn, banana, saba, coconut, cassava, and mango. Sikihor is popularly known throughout the country for rich crop, crocodile hill, with overlooks the Bay of Lazi and the Mindanao Sea, host a witch festival. Hello everyone, I'm Denise Guzman and I will be coming with you to the 8th region of the Philippines. Eastern Visayas. Eastern Visayas, also known as Region 8, is a Philippine administrative region that covers the eastern part of the Visayas archipelago. It covers six provinces, namely Biliran, Eastern Samar, Leyte, Northern Samar, Samar, and Southern Leyte. May also introduce their famous destinations together with their festivals and delicacies. Starting from the province of Biliran. Biliran is an island province in the Philippines located in the Eastern Visayas region. Biliran is one of the country's smallest and newest provinces. Their famous destination, Sambawan Island, the undiscovered paradise of Biliran. Next is Hinago Falls. Hinago Falls is one of the best attractions offered by the province of Biliran. The festivals of Biliran. Bagasumbul Festival, Pudyaka Festival, Subing Subing Festival. 
and their famous delicacies, Binagol and Atchara. The second province of Region A, Eastern Samar. Eastern Samar is a province in the Philippines located in the Eastern Visayas region. Its capital is the city of Boroman. Their famous destination, Kalipoan Beach. It is one of the islands that are part of the municipality of Bian in the province of Eastern Samar. Next is Dinao Cave. Dinao Cave is located in Sulungan, Bian, Eastern Samar. Dinao is waray waray word which means clear which describes the crystal clear fresh waters of the cave. Next is St. Anthony Padua Church. The Sulungan Church is also known as the Shrine of St. Anthony Padua. It is known to both the locals and pilgrims because of being miraculous. The festivals of Eastern Samar, Padulong Festival, Pasaka Festival, and Alimango Festival. Their famous delicacies, Alisusu Suman, Smoked Fish, and Moron. Let's proceed to the third province of Northern Samar. Northern Samar is located in the Eastern Visayas region. Its capital is Tatarman. Their famous destination, Onay Beach. Onay Beach is a long stretch of Golden Coast that is Lawang's for most beach attraction. The cove is a perfect spot to while away and relax. Next is Batag Island Lighthouse. Batag Island Lighthouse is a historic lighthouse on Batag Island off the coast of the town of Lawang in the province of Northern Samar in the Philippines. The festivals are of Samar. Embahada Festival, Manugaya Festival, and Bangkadon Festival. And their famous delicacies, Binagol and Pastillas Perigara. Let's go to the fourth province of Region 8, Samar. Samar, formerly named as Western Samar, is a province in the Philippines located in the Eastern Visayas region. Its capital is the city of Tagbalogan. Their famous destination, the Pilipisakan Falls and Sulpan Cave. Basay Church, the festivals of Samar. Banigan Hawaiian Festival, Pahoy Pahoy Festival, and Uwai Festival. And their famous delicacies, Pinapa and Tamalos. Let's move on to the fifth province of Region 8, the province of Leyte. Leyte is a province in the Philippines located in the Eastern Visayas region. Its capital is the city of Tagloban. Their famous destination, the island of Kalangaman and next is San Juanico Beach. The bridge was constructed as President Marcos did to Ananda. Festivals of Leyte, Samyao Festival and Pasaka Festival. Their famous delicacies, Binagol, Sagmani, and Roscas. Here we are to the last province of Region A, Southern Leyte. Southern Leyte is a province in the Philippines located in the Eastern Visayas region. Its capital is the city of Maasin. Their famous destination, Sun of Sanctuary, Sun of Fish Sanctuary. Next is Agas Agas Village. The festivals of Southern Leyte, Akonai Festival and Matabalani Festival. And their famous delicacies, Roscas, Chocolate Moron, and Suman And that's for all for Visayas Region. Thank you for watching.